I come from uh, a small country located in Europe or in the area of the Balkans called Albania that was uh, one of the most isolated countries during our um, communist period, so to speak. Uh, so isolated that people could not go in and especially people could not go out. Therefore there was um, a complete lack of information about this country and also lack of information about the world in the country except for what the regime wanted us to know. Uh, therefore, when uh, the system collapsed, the nature of the change was really drastic. Uh, it was like within the night we were not what we were anymore. Uh, <coughs> therefore, the country entered a so-called transition period within which we had to catch up um, in a very short period of time with what the rest of the world had been doing until then, um, which is a complex phenomena. It of course has many negative sides because then you really need to rush and do things in a hurry, but uh, it has some positive phenomena because there is a lot of energy in trying to do things and change things and trying to catch up. Therefore, I can say that our organization is part of this amalgamic kind of transformation period that has happened uh, in Albania. Before that, the, uh, I mean, the organization is called Tirana Institute for Contemporary Art, or shortly TICA. Uh, before that, um, we had another organization that was mainly in charge of organizing a, a big international art event, which was the Tirana Biennial, and that was called uh, Tirana uh, uh, Biennial uh, Institute. But at a certain point in 2006, we had a moment of reflection and uh, decided that <coughs> instead of putting all our energy in organizing the Biennial, which is this big fancy international event, but that happens every, only every other year, and in the, in the period in between there is almost nothing happening, we decided that it's more important to focus in this period in between. The, and therefore we joined forces with a couple of other initiatives, one of them was already existing, one of them wanted to come into existence, uh, and therefore decided to merge and create the Tirana Institute for Contemporary Art that would take the biennial in as part of what we do actually. And that's how TICA was born in 2006. And from there on we started with a number of uh, activities and events that are focusing a lot in supporting, one can even say the existence of the local art scene, mainly supporting production of artistic works, which is uh, an almost impossibility in, in the circumstances in Albania because there is no grants for such things. Uh, through different events like exhibitions or, or art awards or supporting exchange through uh, another, com uh, another number of events that can be in terms of awards but you don't win money, you, you win the right to go in a residency uh, in New York for example or in, or in other uh, parts of the world. And uh, slowly we also created this uh, residency program which is called Tika Air Lab. <coughs> in the beginning it was just Tika Air um, and it started in 2007 and uh, we managed to keep up with it, not on a very regular basis, until we met with uh, Prince Klaus or we came into contact with Prince Klaus Fund that showed an interest in supporting this initiative. So uh, the, the, the grant from Prince Klaus is targeting our residency program, not the other events that we do uh, through Tika. Uh, and now we are in the third year of, of this collaboration. I think it's in the nature of, of this structure of network partnership uh, that collaborations will always be born in these meetings. Uh, even though it might not happen from the very beginning and also uh, for us, I have to say that it's, uh, w we are super happy with the support from Prince Klaus also because Albania and the Balkans, they have not been part of the interest fields, geographically speaking, 
for Prince Klaus or other Dutch organizations. The focus has been more in uh, Latin America, Asia and Africa. But it was them that took the initiative. We had a previous collaboration during the biennial, which was, uh, we, we applied for a grant um, to, for, for the event. And then uh, that led to, uh, to, the, to, to the three year long support, which I think it's the first try also for, for, the, for the foundation itself to support organization from this area. And they were interested in our already existing network in the region. So this, uh, residences that we are organizing, they are focusing on bringing together artists from the different countries in, in the region there, even though it's open to, to artists from all over the world. Um, but the structure of the meetings, especially the mid-year meetings uh, of uh, the network uh, partners, it's amazing because first of all it brings you to, to places and countries that you might not have a chance to go otherwise and it creates these encounters with people uh, not only like you meet the network uh, partners or, or the members of the network partnership in the real circumstances and contexts where they work we don't meet in amsterdam around the table and talk about things in a more abstract way which we do but we really get to experience what they experience in their everyday life. You get to know a scene, you get to know people, you get to see uh, the, the, the conditions in which they work and problems they are faced with. So it's very revelatory, I think. It's, it's, uh, it's really great experiences that you don't want to miss. Um, and as I said, collaborations between the, the, the partners themselves might not come out just from the very first meeting. Uh, it might even not happen during the time that you are a member of, of the network. But once you establish the contacts, they sort of live their own life. And at a, at a second step or a second stage, something will surely come out or up from there. Uh, and the nice uh, and beautiful thing with the network is that it's not focusing in one area but it's expertise and interest from various cultural areas and fields, um, which means that it offers another opportunity or another way how you can uh, uh, build collaborations. Maybe you are not involved directly yourself, but you can put in contact people that you know or that you think are interesting with, with what some of the network uh, um, partners or members are, are doing or people that they know that it's, uh, it's like the web of connections it really expands in, in a very um, nice and wide way somehow.